Uh, hi everyone, and welcome to this series of uh, circuit uh, practice uh, problem. And this is another question from the transient analysis. So let's see the question. So here we have uh, basically a capacitor was originally connected to the faulty supply. And then at T equal to zero, it moves from position A to position to position B. And then here you are asked first, what is the energy stored in the capacitor? And then what is the expression for I zero of T for T greater or uh, equal to, uh, to zero? So we we'll start from part A. And then we need to draw the circuit at T at T equal to zero minus. This is the moment before we move the switch. Okay, so basically here, this is 120 volt. We have 10 kilo. And here you have your capacitor as an open circuit because we assume that the switch at position A for long enough to this is fully charged. So your VC will be basically your VC at zero negative will equal to, if you apply KVL here, the current is equal to zero because this is an open circuit. So your VC will equal to the 120 volt. And your VC, the moment you close the switch is also equal to 120 volt because the voltage doesn't change instantaneously in the capacitor. And from this, we can say that the, the uh, energy stored in the capacitor is equal to one half CV squared of the capacitor, and this is at T equal to zero. So both voltages are exactly the same. This is one half times C. C is 0 0.04 times 10 to minus six. We have to use an SI unit. So you have to convert the microfarad into farad times 120 square. And this will give me 0 0.288 millijoule. So that is basically how much energy is stored in the capacitor. Now in part B, we want to find the expression of I0 of T. So in part B, we start by setting up the solution format, which is K1 plus K2 E minus T over tau. And we know we have three unknowns. We have K1, K2, and tau. Okay. So we need to solve at T equal to zero plus, which is the moment we basically close the switch. And for this, my circuit will be now my capacitor at T equal to zero, as we mentioned in the previous step, will stay as the same voltage as before we move the switch. So this is 120 volt. Then we have here 12.2. 5 kilo ohm, 150 kilo ohm, 50 kilo ohm, and finally the 4 milliamp supply. And I need to find your I0 at this moment, the moment I close the, the switch. So we can apply nodal analysis. Let's find this voltage V. So KCL at V, assume the currents are leaving. So we have here V minus 120 over 12.5 kilo plus V over 150 kilo plus V over 50 kilo. And this is also leaving the current source plus four milliamps is equal to zero. Let's multiply everything times 150K. So we'll have here uh, 12 times V minus 120 plus V plus 3V plus 600 equal to zero. So we'll have 12V minus 1,440 plus, this is 4V plus 600 equal to zero. From this, you can see that 16V is equal to 840. 
and from this your v is equal to 840 divided by the 16 and this will give me 52.5 volt so this is this is the voltage here at this node now your i zero at this moment is equal to the 120 minus the 52.5 divided by the resistance in between the 12.5 kilo and this will give me 5.4 milliamp so i calculated i zero at that specific moment then we go and solve for the circuit as t goes to infinity now as t goes to infinity we use the same circuit but this now will be an open circuit so my circuit now will be the 12.5 kilo this is your the vc open circuit 150 kilo 50 kilo and we have here the four milliamps. So I need to find I zero as goes to infinity. And it's very obvious here, this is an open circuit. So this meaning that your I zero at infinity will equal to zero because this is basically just an open circuit. So we found I zero at zero and I zero at infinity. Now we need to find the time constant. To find the time constant, we need to find what is R thevenin in between these two, two, two points. And basically here, we have only independent sources. So this is a current source. So we just kill it uh, by converting this is an open circuit. So this will be my circuit now. 50 kilo, 150 kilo, and 12.5 kilo. So your this is your R so your R is basically equal to 12.5 kilo in series with 150 kilo in parallel with the 50 with the 50 kilo and you will find that the total uh, resistance is equal to 50 kilo ohm <clears throat> and from this the time constant is equal to R times C which is equal to 50 times 10 to power 3 times C, which is 0 0.04 times 10 to basically minus 6. And this will give me 2 millisecond. So this is your time constant. So now we have everything. We know that your V0 is equal to 120 volt sorry i0 we, uh, we uh, this is your v0 yes but this is it's not needed but I, I i need to find i0 at zero which is basically equal to 5.4 milliamp i0 at infinity is equal to zero and the time constant is equal to two millisecond now we know that i0 of t is in that format k1 plus K to E minus T over tau. So I zero at zero equal to K one plus K two equal to 5.4 milli. And I zero at infinity is basically equal to, equal to K one, which is equal to zero. So it means that your K two is equal to 5.4. And hence your I zero of T is equal to zero plus 5.4 E minus T over two millisecond, which is equal to 5.4 E minus 500 T milliamp for T greater than or equal to zero.